As Weekend Today co-anchor and NBC News chief White House correspondent, our friend Kristen Welker has covered some of the biggest stories of our time, always asking the tough questions. But now Kristen has landed her most important assignment Mm -hmm. yet motherhood. My heart is racing just (laughs) about to talk about this. So earlier today, Kristen broke some news of her own, revealing she and her husband, John, are expecting a baby girl with the help of a surrogate after years of struggling to start a family of their own. And Kristen and John are back this morning with us, along with infertility specialist Eve Feinberg. So good morning to everybody. Everybody. Thanks, uh, (laughs) doctor, for being here as well. And oh my goodness, I'm just so happy for you you guys. Thank Thank you. you for having us. It's so good to see you guys. Thank you for all of the love and support. You called me several months ago to, to tell me the news. And here we are. It's infertility week. And I'm, yeah. I mean, you're going to have a baby in a, in a couple months. Now at this <laughs> point. How are you guys feeling? John, I mean, both of you together. I mean, how, how does it feel to get this news out there? We are so excited. We're so filled with joy. We cannot wait to welcome our little baby girl. And when I called you a couple months ago, one of the things that I said to Dylan is that she gave me so much strength. You gave me so much strength by talking about publicly the struggles that you had trying to have a second child. And, and every time someone opened up about their struggles with fertility, it gave us a little bit more strength. Mm. Yeah, it's been a long road, and at times, you know, it's felt a little isolating. But, uh, you know, we look back, and we're so grateful for all the support and, yeah. uh, and the warm wishes we received along the way. Yeah. Speaking of looking back, what led you to the path of surrogacy? It's a great question. I think that we'd struggled with infertility for so long. We'd done IVF, and our doctor said, we think that's going to be a great next step for you. Like many families, we contemplated adoption surrogacy. It felt like the right first step, but we want to hopefully expand our family even further, so we're open to all of the possibilities. And we found a wonderful surrogate who we connected with immediately, a young mom. Um, in the process, you ask each other questions. I when you're in imagine, the vetting process. I can only yes. imagine this woman <laughs> with a question by Kristen Walker <laughs> well, on he, surrogacy. That's right. But here's the thing, Craig. She came and had just as many, if not more, questions for wow. us than we had for her. Wow. It was very important to her that she was with a family who she felt were going to be good parents because she's a young mom. Mm-hmm. And she says that this has always been her dream because her cousin, when she was growing up, struggled with infertility. Mm-hmm. And so we felt a bond with her immediately. That's really special. We, we, we want to bring in Dr. Feinberg now, and we also need to note that Dr. Feinberg didn't treat you guys, but she does specialize in infertility. So, uh, Dr. Feinberg, Kristen and John, obviously not alone, as, as one in eight families struggle with infertility. So, how do you decide when surrogacy becomes the best option? And, and when you think about this, how does finances come into play in this as well? Yeah. So first of all, many congratulations. I know what a a long and arduous road it is to get there. So, and I'm so thrilled that you're talking about this on national television. It's incredibly important. The hardest part to know is when to make that transition to surrogacy. There are no tests that are out there that can determine whether or not a woman has the ability to carry a pregnancy. And so often it's this trial and error multiple failures before couples decide to move on. And surrogacy is prohibitively expensive for many. And so it really is um, a wonderful and amazing way to build a family, but it is unfortunately in this day and age not available to everybody who needs it. Dr. Feinberg, I would imagine that, that infertility can also take quite the emotional toll uh, on families. What, do you, what, what advice do you give your patients to deal with that part of it? I tell everybody to build their team. So you want a team, not just of medical specialists, but you want a team of fertility psychologists. You want a reproductive attorney if you are pursuing surrogacy to help navigate that process. And you really wanna keep a tight circle of friends and family who are gonna support you throughout the journey. Mm. Kristen, I have to ask because we have very strange jobs here. You know, you (laughs) have to put a smile on your face. You have to go on TV and just act like nothing's wrong. I know you saw a fertility therapist. Yes. How, how are you able to find the strength to just get to work every day? Well, that was one of the ways. I mean, I leaned on John. We leaned on each other, our family members, our work family. 
But I also saw a therapist who specializes in fertility and in infertility. Mm -hmm. And that really gave me so much strength to navigate each new challenge. Often those therapists are covered by insurance. I do want to speak about the financial piece of it. It's important. We recognize we are so fortunate and we're humbled by that. There are now more resources. So I would say to couples, ask your employer, do you provide any help and support if we want to go the route of adoption or surrogacy? More and more employers are. And there are even some grants that people can pursue. So it's gotten better over the years, but not good enough yet. And that's one of the reasons why we want to speak out. And that's part of what I'm going to be exploring on weekend today, Dylan, actually everything from the emotional toll to the financial toll. That kid just hit the parent lottery. So. <laughs> that was great. That was great. Thank you. Well, we are just so, so happy for you guys. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. There's so much to celebrate. We want to thank, of course, Dr. Feinberg as well for joining us this morning. So in the coming weeks on weekend today, as Kristen just said, Kristen will explore all the aspects of infertility and surrogacy, including the emotional and financial impact. So you'll definitely want to tune in for that. And you also, Kristen, wrote a heartfelt letter mm. to your daughter, and we've posted it on today.com slash parents, along with some really great resources. Oh. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. All the best. We love you. Both You're of so you. Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh. Thank you. Thank you. Congrats. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.